is finally here going to New Orleans it's currently 7 p.m. and I'm going to bed because my fl I have to get up at 3 15 my flight is super early uh, and it was the only flight directly from Tampa to New Orleans every other flight was so crazy some had like seven hour layover in Atlanta and then one had five hour layover in Houston which is past New Orleans makes no sense so this was the only direct flight from Tampa my friend says the reason why is because Tampa airport does not have hubs so they don't have more options but anyways New Orleans finally here this is vlog day one um there's gonna be a lot of different kinds of videos there's gonna be like just beignets rating beignets there's gonna be food um different foods uh, we're also doing a ghost tour one day and a voodoo tour another day and then we're gonna go to lafayette cemetery we're gonna eat a lot and i think it's southern decadence which is like the lgbtq mardi gras um that makes me feel safer uh i feel a lot safer around gay men than drunk straight men <laughs> so um yeah this is day vlog vlog day number one when well, i was also gonna do like walking videos just walking the streets with just the sounds it's 3 24 heading to the airport So here we are. Just got to New Orleans. Um, they let me check in. It's only 10 a.m. So my friend is not gonna get, get here for a few more hours. So I'm all by myself. <sighs> uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go to Cafe Beignet. And then I'm gonna walk around. I wanna shoot like walking around videos. I'm gonna explore, go to sh some shops, um, and then later I think I'm gonna stop and buy Pat O'Brien's for some jambalaya. Um, I'm staying at La Pavilion. La Pavilion? So beautiful. Oh my god. And my room. This is what my room looks like. Some decor. <laughs> beautiful curtains and very high ceilings and the bed is very very nice not the nicest one they have the bed frame but it's like the middle one i'm gonna do a separate video just of the hotel because there's so much to see unfortunately they're doing renovation on the rooftop which has a pool a rooftop pool but because of the renovation i'm not allowed to go up there really bummed the breakfast here is $19 if you want I uh, I read it go and eat beignets look at this awesome thing I got <laughs> so this is a water bottle holder uh, I'm gonna have to make it shorter because it's like too long but this this is so good practical perfect for traveling I don't have to carry it with me it just hangs on my shoulder First up is Cafe Beignet. Now this is a chain restaurant, so there are multiple locations. It has a really cute courtyard and also an indoor place. And this is Thursday, so there are tables. But on the weekend, it is so crowded. And they also have different kinds of food. I think that's why the beignets here were not the best because they don't only focus on beignet. Café de Mont only does beignet, that's why they are the best. This was my total, 10.43. The beignets were 
three beignets for 75 and I got a large cappuccino. Here's my beignet, it's super, super hot. It's freshly baked, deep fried, freshly deep fried, super hot. Three beignets, I'm so excited, starving. I feel like the, the sugar is kind of melting onto it, the powder sugar. It's very good, it's very fresh. However, I feel like the dough doesn't have enough sugar. So the dough is very plain and the only sugar on it here is from the powdered sugar, which that's not what some people like. I like it to be a little bit more sweeter. Mm, it's pretty good. Also wearing black, not the best though. So choice when eating beignets. I need to eat at other places to compare. Yeah. I just I feel like I've had better beignets. Um, I'm gonna go walk around and then I'm gonna go to Museum of Death and then uh, I don't know. I have found the house of the originals. The house for the originals is it was actually sold earlier this year and the funny thing is that the listing agent name was Michael. If you're a horror fan, you know whose house this is. House of Horror. Going into Museum of Death. I've been to Museum of Death in Hollywood twice in California and just like in California you're not allowed to take pictures or videos inside to respect the dead. There's a lot of skeletons and crime scene photos, articles and such uh, history of like mummies and how they're made and honestly I've walked everywhere. I looked at all the site seatings in just a couple hours four days in new orleans was way too long and it was so so hot this is the bench elijah and klaus had their final scene this is historical The key to survive the heat in New Orleans is to go into AC places. So I went into French Truck Cafe for an iced tea and I was there for an hour to cool down. Coming to Pat O'Brien's for late lunch and this building was built in 1791 and the bar was first opened in 1933. When you walk in, don't forget to look up, up for a surprise. And this is where the famous hurricane drink comes from. You're gonna see people walking with it everywhere. And I've had a few of those. Here is the menu pause if you like to look at the prices. I think it's pretty cheap considering that it's a very, very, very popular touristy area and location. Almost everyone who visits NOLA comes here i mean the hurricane you have to try it i had to lower the sound a lot more because it was so so noisy i don't know if it's the fan or like maybe like it, it's just so many things at once it's a lot of noise here's the jambalaya it's like two cups of rice the, the sausage was delicious and i don't like sausage and i ate it it had ton of spices so i think if you want to try jambalaya come here because i had it in another place and it was not the greatest so this was definitely the place to try the jambalaya yeah i need to make this at home the hurricane the hurricane is like super super strong it's almost like four drinks in one um but the waiter said if i cannot finish it he can put it in a plastic cup and i can get it to go 
Uh, the jambalaya is good. It's full of sausage. Some, a lot of chicken, little chicken pieces. I think it's a uh, chicken tight, so it's very soft. But it's very tomatoey. So if you have um, like stomach ache from ac acidy food, uh, tomato has a lot of acid. I recommend maybe getting a gumbo instead of jambalaya because there's a lot of tomato acid in here. But it's very good. And the hurricane is strong for only twelve dollars. Total was thirty nine, but I also got dessert to go. And this is why you don't want to wear flip flops here. I am nearly a hundred percent sure I stepped in human pee. Going back to the hotel. I need a shower. Look at me. Oh. Oh, I regret every decision I've ever made. I think I started walking around like maybe 940 something and I finished at 12. So in about three hours, I walked through everything. Not tours, just walking. See like attractions. Three hours. That's all it took. I walked all the way from the beginning to the end of Royal Street and Bourbon Street. And then I went to the square. And in between that, I even got beignets. <sighs> yeah, I'm going back to the hotel and um, shower. I also ordered banana pudding to go and it's in warm whiskey caramel sauce, I believe. This is what it looks like. It looks so, so, so good. Oh, and it also has pecans. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna try a bit. It's still warm. Mm. That smells so good. Mm. Wow. It's super moist. Almost a little bit slimy. Super sweet. I suggest you share this dessert because it is crazy sweet. And I like sweet. This is straight up drinking syrup. Mm. But it's actually delicious. It's probably like the best thing I had out of the three at Pat O'Brien's. It has a very, very mild whiskey flavor to it. And then the caramel, it is so delicious, but it's so sweet, insanely sweet. I walked around so much. I saw pretty much everything that is to see in French Quarter. Um, the day after tomorrow, we are going to the Lafayette Cemetery and a little bit outside of French Quarter. So that's that, but besides that, for tomorrow morning, going to Café du Mont for the beignets. And I'm also doing a separate video comparing beignets. So there are three beignet places I'm going. Went to, I can't breathe, I'm so full. <laughs> There's a lot of food. So I went to um, Café Beignet this morning, which you saw already. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go to Dumont, which I've been to Dumont and I'm really hoping this time I'm gonna have a better experience because the last time, the last time I actually sat down and ordered coffee, the coffee is garbage. Coffee is literally garbage. Coffee is so bad. Don't waste your money on their coffee. But my cup came with red lipstick stain. And also the powdered sugar people left behind on their plates were tossed back into the powdered sugar when they put it on people's beignets. So it was like the leftovers were not tossed away, they were reused. So that's something I'm gonna look for tomorrow if they're still doing that. But I feel like the beignet there is probably gonna be better than 
the cafe beignet this morning the cafe beignet this morning was good not super good not great it just it just it was good it was fresh but just kind of plain that was i don't think there was any like maybe vanilla flavoring in it the dough had no sugar in it so it was just like plain dough i don't know but i do remember that dumont's beignets were really really tasty and there's also another beignet place called hot bennies <laughs> so that's something i'm gonna check out uh one of the other days and also gonna go on a ghost and a voodoo tour on different days so for now my friend is still not here i'm back at the hotel and i am exhausted so i think i'm just gonna chill in the hotel i did fourteen thousand nine hundred and sixteen steps today and it's not even a lot because i didn't even go on any tour the most steps i've ever done was in europe and i in one day thirty two thousand steps and i did not lose any weight <laughs> i was so chunky yeah but that bread pudding is so good and worth all the calories the jambalaya was massive so i did not finish the whole thing but i did finish my drink after halfway through the hurricane the eye like i drank all the strong parts and the ice started melting and it just kind of like became like a weaker so i was like ah, this much left on the bottom i'm not gonna take it with me while i was at pat's at pat o'brien's i next to me was this elderly kind of well retired <laughs> couple and um we just had like a, a really great conversation they were telling me how they go on these ghost tours and she was showing me like this picture that she took in key west on a ghost tour and she captured a ghost on like she took like multiple pictures and on one of the pictures there's like this see-through kind of like ghosty figure um so it was just so cute to see like this older couple just traveling they're here here for a couple of days and it's just cute they're going to a concert so i'm like oh it's so cute um yeah they're doing fun stuff I'm so exhausted. Oh, I'm just over here eating this banana, banana, uh, bread pudding, the whiskey sauce and caramel. So good. I have no space for food, but this is so good. So I just met my friend, he checked in. And um, I've been up since 3 a.m. and he has to get some work done, so we decided to go to bed. And tomorrow, early morning, we're gonna go to Cafe du Mont, and that's gonna be a whole other vlog. We're also gonna go on a ghost tour and eat at some voodoo chicken place. So, good night.